Hello everybody, my name is Sir Alvin Patal and welcome to another edition of your Adobe Audition Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about the difference between saving and exporting your files in Adobe Audition. But before we move on, please subscribe to our channel, Sir Alvin Patal, and also like the videos right here. Okay, so today we're going to uh, start discussing how to save the file and how to export the file. So let us start. First off, of course, uh, you have to start with uh, your selected file coming from your computer. You can open that by just clicking File and then click Open. And then you can just open it right here. And uh, for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be opening uh, this file, Welcome. Okay. And there you have it. You can see right here in the tree view that Welcome is right there and it's already opened in the waveform view. All right. And this time we're going to open another file. All right, it's also in desktop and I'm gonna click background. Okay, so it's already imported in our Adobe Audition 1.5 and you can see both right here in the edit view. Okay, so when we talk about exporting files and saving the files, that means that you have already worked on editing these files in the multi-track view. So I'm gonna open multi-track view. And of course, I'm going to open this file or I'm going to drag and drop this file called welcome. Okay, so let me just move it from this place. All right. And of course, let's listen to it. Welcome to the first episode of your English grammar subject. Don't you guys worry because I'm here to make your learning worthwhile and fun. So hang on tight and enjoy. All right. So as what you guys can see, this has already been uh, pre-recorded and that is my voice. And I'm going to put some background on it just to uh, add up some spice on this recording. Let's see this one. All right. So let me just adjust and let us take a look at this uh, um, material in the multi-track view. Of course, we have the audio and the background right here. Let, so let us play. Welcome to the first episode. Okay, so as you can see, the background is too uh, um, uh, hype up. So we have to tone down the volume so we can adjust the audio clip. Just right click and then adjust audio clip volume and you can just put it down to um, negative 25. And to adjust the volume of the voice, you can also uh, right click and then adjust audio clip volume to about 9. Alright, so that will be perfect. So let's listen to it again so, so that this material would have proper blending. Welcome to the first episode of your English grammar subject. Don't you guys worry because I'm here to make your learning worthwhile and fun. So hang on tight and enjoy. All right, so it actually depends on how you will blend the material if you'd like to adjust the volume, um, uh, tone it up, so you can just do that. Welcome to the first episode of your English grammar subject. Don't you guys worry because I'm here to make your learning worthwhile and fun. So hang on tight and enjoy. All right, so that will be good. So this time we're going to talk about again the saving and exporting of files in Adobe Audition. So let me just pull this up. So there are two ways. Number one is for you to save the file as a session. Okay, so you have to go to File, Save Session, Save As, dot Sys, and then Save. All right, so this is saving the file as a session. Now let's go to File and then Save Session. All right. So in here, guys, after uh, clicking Save Session As, it will pull up this window, Save Session As, dot says, or Multitrack Session. This means this material will be saved on your computer as a session file. All right, so once you open this session file, it will um, bring you to this um, same interface in Adobe Audition. All right, so again, let me repeat, you just go to Save then save session as and it will be saved as dot says let's, let's just uh, uh, take this as final that will be the uh, file file name of this material and then dot says will be the file type and then click save there you have it okay so let, give, let me give you an example once I close Adobe Audition 
okay once I close it it will bring me to my desktop and right here I saved the file so it's already in session file okay so once I click this one double click then just uh, click in yes there you have it guys it will bring you to the very same interface where you left off okay so that is how you save your session or save your file as a session okay next up is how do we import the file as mp3 okay so let us say this file is already final and uh, it's good to go ready for submission and ready for uh, final for the final process you can just click file and then export then click audio click save as mp3 and then save all right so the difference of this is that you're going to you're going to be saving this as a final mp3 file okay just click file and then click on export okay there it will have a drop down and then go to audio and it will pop up this window export audio in this one you can actually choose from uh, different file types you can uh, go for a uh, wave file or you can go for a uh, dot mp3 so uh, in this uh, video i'm gonna choose dot mp3 a versatile uh, file type and i'm gonna save it as final okay so let's save it uh, in my computer there you have it so when i minimize and i can see here that uh, my file is already in mp3 there you have it guys so it's already um, a media file dot mp3 okay so it stands alone now there you have it guys so that is the difference when you save your file as a session and when you save your file as an mp3 all right so i hope this video will uh, uh, help you in uh, making your uh, editing with regard to your voices and mp3s and making your vlogs or making your covers and uh, stay tuned for more videos about, about adobe audition 1.5 on this channel and again Please subscribe to Sir Alvin Patel. Thank you so much, guys.